other guys are usually like childlike in nature. Well, I would I seem remember like reading in, that like that's one of the some, key yeah, in some of the things. Yeah, it's well, it's and like very... the majority, like they're usually it's like a childlike spirit that's attacking, and, and it attaches with a youth or adolescent. So, like, yeah, maybe it's right. Usually, but... an adolescent female in the UK. Yeah, from <laughs> what we've seen. Oh, I would say they're like the gist of poltergeist. Like poltergeist are definitely the most prominent poltergeists are in the UK. A hundred percent stories <laughs> of poltergeist, poltergeists. Uh, so, um. So at some point, uh, you know, the communications with the spirit started up again. You know, they set up the whole Ouija board. That's not a Ouija board. And the Wally they started board. Wally board. Yeah, Wally I guess board, the Wally yeah. board. Um, or Shirley board, I guess. <laughs> and then uh, so they started to communicate a little bit better with the spirit. And the first time you get a really good message from it is that is the one that surely surely took down and this is the very first time so let me kind of i'll read it out so it's no, hold on hold on read it in character i, I don't I really I, <laughs> no we bad i get to it um yes you can <laughs> yes you can <laughs> He can't, he can't do, do it. No, because yes, it's going to be really stupid. Yes, you can. I am 15. I come from France. I lost in Chanel. Cannot remember my name. I had a girl like you. Don't know this. Not aware of me. I want someone to tell him. Uh, I want a happiness between you two. Uh, won't go until it is made it so. Let me go happy by telling Ronald of me, but not to his family. Uh, he must keep me a secret between you and me and to himself. Uh, give this to Karch. Uh, let no one see it. Get Karch. But you keep sick secret and tell Mark if you have father, father, I'd be angry and set fire. Like that's um that's that's very that was like the best cross between Japanese and French I've ever heard. <laughs> so that perfect. You gotta uh, you gotta cap it with a ha ha ha. Right, we'll, we'll get to France. To, yeah, well, yeah. So, <laughs> so, so this is the first real message that you get uh, an idea of, like what uh, what kind of persona is is, is this poltergeist is inhabiting or. But or that's forming. not. But the, here's the thing: it's like everything leading up to this, you've not got that kind of persona. They're like like before this moment where they're like, now it's this. You haven't. That's why I think it's just this thing fucking with them, like. It, th this thing doesn't have a singular persona much like we like nowadays we don't be like oh like like ge like you know whatever genders are fucking bending situation we've got going on now this is the same thing like it's like it's like you're trying to put this thing in a in a in a circle and it's like no i can be all things i'm fucking with you like it's I i'm french now and now i'm this like it's just sitting there just being like yeah i'll make i'll be whatever I well, how do we know time. that it's the same? How do we know it's the same fucking ghost though? Too could I, be different ones. You could be channeling different ones every time you reach out. <laughs> like maybe, but it's like because this thing's fucking with them constantly. To me, I just think I think the essence of a poltergeist, if like in in terms that we understand nowadays, is a troll. It's a troll spirit. Like it's just fucking with you to be funny. Like it, whatever it's doing, it thinks it's being funny, and the more attention you give it, it's like the more elaborate the jokes become. So, uh, with with the, with this communication kind of set down uh, by by the poltergeist, um, it, there are examples like in there. There are multiple misspellings of words. Like for example, when he said fifteen, he spells it not fifteen. He spells it F I V H T E E N. Um, fifteen. When he, he spells 15. it with his accent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when he wants to spell, when he wants to spell father, he spells it F A H T E R. Father. Um, father. And right. when he Funny. refers, <laughs> when he refers to Kirch, um, they had to take they had to take a little bit of liberty there and try to interpret what they meant. They they figured that it referred to one Michael Kirsch, who was a K I. It's spelled K E R C H, um, and Kirsch was a K I. R S C H. Um, and he was one of the many reporters that had been calling at number 63. And so uh, Shirley in her recollections of, of meeting him was that he was, uh, he, he was friendly, but he was also deeply skeptical about what was going on. Um, 
and, and there's also kind of some descriptions and suspicions that Shirley um, was attracted to him. She she kind of described him in some accounts as uh, he was really nice looking. I fancied him. Um, and so but it wasn't really clear well, that was, as to whether that was Shirley herself were, saying that <laughs> right that was, those weren't those weren't accounts of that Shirley said that she was like yeah I remember thinking he was hot right. and I was like I fucking want him so the the poltergeist you know is telling them to bring them it, it seems to be implied that you're going to bring it here or I'm going to set I'm going to burn this motherfucker down <laughs> like yeah. it's, it's, um and so after this, after after this though, the, the ghost does take on a little bit of a more um like a bit more violent streak. Um there's there's a couple more accounts about the the like a bit more pyro pyromania going on, uh where there were things that were starting to catch fire, uh matches were being struck without not without knowing what matches would go missing uh matchbox would go missing talking about the, it was a secret what, smoker that one what's second the, wonder was the same thing as yeah, the, 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 the burning of matches the matches yeah, yeah yeah and the matches and, and the mysterious fires starting in the house and nobody knows how they how they how they started um so <laughs> enter in another one of the, the big things about this we finally get to it but it's um uh, harold chibbit uh you know harold chibbit uh, chibs <laughs> chibs <laughs> the chibmeister um yeah. Harold Chibbit was a pretty, pretty well-known, well-connected person in the area of psychical research. Um, he was born in, uh, in 1900 in Islington, North London. Uh, he served in the army during the First World War, and he kind of pilot, <laughs> and he worked for the civil service in London. So, um, you know, after the the First World War, he became deeply interested in spiritualism and, and psychical research. Um, again, he you know struggling to cope with the loss of of people during the war um, when. When, when Chibbit first heard about the poltergeist, uh, apparently he was living in uh, North London and he was working at the tax office up there. So he was able to kind of go and visit uh, the 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 Battersea poltergeist, right? So he called on he called on the Hitchings on the evening of Tuesday, sixth uh, of March, and he invited. They kind of invited him to chat with Shirley and his parents. And I think Chibbit, like a lot of the, a lot of the information that we have now is from Chibbit and his Chibbit. research, like about his documents. Yeah. He, he's a very thorough researcher. Um, uh, people kind of described him as a person who would like, he, he believed in this. He wanted to believe, but he never let his beliefs kind of get in the way of, of those, of the stuff that he saw challenging his preconceptions. So he, he was always trying to figure out whether, um, and, and, you know, he, from here on, it's pretty much like all of his correspondence and stuff like this. He's always trying to figure out if it's actually real. He's never 100% on board, but he's always just trying to, he, he's in, he doesn't believe it's a hoax, but he wants to know exactly what's going on. He's so thorough. He camped out on their kitchen floor. On a <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, like, no joke. Like this, it's either, okay, but the, here's the thing. It's like. Is he that thorough or is he just like a homeless war vet that needs a place to stay? No, I mean, no, he <laughs> just Grifton. He had a good like, job. I'll, I'll solve it. Like, if I can just, just feed me and let me sleep here, and we're good. Um, he had a good job. Like, his, his job was good. I think they were, they were actually <laughs> no. pretty well off, I think, I believe. Um, they were, him and his wife he led but, you to believe. Okay. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> I mean, him just and his, a grifter. He had no, I mean, he sleep. did retire at some point. He was able to take a holiday, like, go travel to paris and all this stuff like he did retire at some point and yeah, what's that? he retired on the nothing. fucking people's fucking kitchen floor <laughs> that was it Done. Um, he's the inventor of couch surfing <laughs> smart um so after so you have chibit coming in here and he begins to kind of take an interest in chibs. this and, and he prefers to call chibs just call him chibs. Uh, chibs takes a interest in the the batter seat poltergeist and donald uh and shirley and kind of what the relationship is here and, and what's exactly going on and trying to figure out exactly what it what it was that is going on now uh from the communications that donald's kind of throwing out he has this, some weird obsession with kurt kirsch uh and he couldn't really like kirsch didn't really decide to like come back like it wasn't really um you know they they try to to contact him but he doesn't really feel like coming back like again like we said he was deeply skeptical about what's going on and you just get letters like trying to get you to come back and you're like why why would i come back i, I assume that's <laughs> that's what's kind of going on um 
and he had no interest in, in coming back. So apparently uh, after that kind of happened and he, he rebuffed uh, these, these invitations to come back, uh, the, uh, the the Donald like moved its obsession to another. <laughs> the Donald get moved. Maxwell Kirsch, no good. He's no good. <laughs> right. Uh, he, he moved. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in ten minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys, enjoy the next video.